as we know since the seven <coughs> days, we were all wrong about God, the universe, and Noah's Ark, and the Big Flood. Yes, I never thought that the solution was that easy. Uh, it's the common problem with us scientists that we try always to look too far and ignore what's going on in front of our nerves. I am only happy that you finally agreed to make this experience. Uh, um, uh, yeah, um, we, we, we are really uh, um, uh, thankful that you brought us the uh, um, uh, idea to, to carbon date the, the, the world uh, as an entire uh, organism. Uh, as the, the leading scientist, I will uh, uh, explain it quickly to our uh, o uh, audience. Um, um, about 6,000 years ago, um, uh, uh, God sent from a parallel universe uh, some matter and antimatter uh, to, to uh, uh, this site and, and, and created our, our, our universe. Uh, the, the, the order in, in, in which uh, he um, uh, created us and our, our uh, uh, nature was therefore not important uh, because he could withdraw um, uh, um, everything he, he needed from uh, a, a parallel uh, uh, universe. Um, we uh, really needed the M theory, uh, string theories, uh, to, to, to see what was uh, uh, really a God, a God's plan. Yeah, some of you might have some major problems because of your attitude in the past. The good thing about that is that I can show my beautiful face again, and yes, even when it will be with a big shame that I have to go back to my students and admit that their parents were right to blame me for my blasphemic atheist attitude, I'm happy to be now on the side of the real light. I'm trembling when I think to how many people I have to apologize. How could I know that Peter Popov really received this holy spring water directly from God by his connections <laughs> to the other parallel universe. Uh, for me and, and other people like, like uh, Will, Will Claire, we, we, we have to uh, uh, really deeply uh, apologize for uh, all, all the people we, we, we called creatards. I think the best will be when I write a declaration for all of us, and we as a group ask for pardon to all the good believers we ridiculed. Up to you all now to join me to sign this surrender declaration. So, in the future, what will you do on YouTube? How you will change your channels? What uh, what your audience can now expect from you. For me, it's easy. I have only to accept the mainstream knowledge of my state and teach the truth to my students and fight where I can against the remaining Darwinist evolutionists. Uh, this will be a, a real pleasure because it's since a long time that I'm disconnected from over 90% of my fellow uh, citizens. Oh, I, I have so much uh, beautiful new uh, telescopes. I, I, I think I will recycle myself uh, to become a um, uh, universe photographer. Uh, you know, the, the, the God-created universe is still a beautiful paradise to, to, to share with my, my viewers. Uh, I will spend many nights out uh, uh, filming and uh, 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 photographing uh, the beauty of, of uh, the, the creation. With my experience, I am not afraid for my future. I will certainly contribute to change all the books at the school board to the new knowledge, and I guess there will be always some stupid people left to fight against. Uh, you know, uh, people who don't understand the new science, and even if they know they are wrong, will not abandon atheism because it's their major uh, income source. Um, secondly, 
I will open a camel breeding station. This is where my past experience is good for. Well, with my professional background, I don't have any problems to turn my vest and to offer my services to all ministries, preaching the new gospel, and to protect the right to sell whatever God gave them to share with us. But uh, what will be our religion after this surrender? The only person here who can give us the new gospel is uh, Brother Dominic. I hope, brother, you will accept uh, to give us, lost sheep, a new guidance, a new code of behave to be also part of uh, God's universal wisdom. Be prepared. I will write the new gospel very soon. It will be short. The only revelation God gave me until now, I will chisel it in stone. He told me, don't be a dick. Maybe he also meant, don't be like the dick culprit. Thank you.